in the United States. And this is the Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. Four miners remain missing in a West Virginia coal mine two days after a huge explosion killed at least 25 miners in the deadliest mining disaster in the United States in more than a quarter of a century. Prospects remain grim for the four missing miners as rescue efforts have been suspended due to underground conditions at the upper Big Branch mine. Massey Energy, which owns and operates the mine, said rescuers were forced to pull back from the search area because methane gas and smoke made it too hazardous to continue searching. At a news conference Tuesday, West Virginia Governor Joe Manchin described the force of the blast that ripped through the mine Monday afternoon. Well, I can only say that when the rescuers that were in the mine and saw what they were able to see until they had to come out and the type of damage that was done that it had to be a horrific explosion to cause that time of, of damage. For instance, For instance rails that, it, that cars, buggies and heavy equipment, train rails that go back in, look like they've been twisted like a pretzel. That's horrific. That's an explosion that it just beyond proportion. And the heat that would come off of that explosion to cause that would be something. Meanwhile, President Obama said the federal government was ready to assist in rescue operations. He made the comment at a gathering of religious leaders at the White House. I spoke with Governor Manchin uh, of West Virginia last night and told him that uh, the federal government stands ready to offer whatever assistance is needed in this rescue effort. So I would ask for the faithful who have gathered here this morning, pray for the safe return of the missing, uh, the men and women who've put their lives on the line to save them and, and the souls of, of those who've been lost in this tragic accident. Uh, may they rest in peace and, and may their families find comfort in, in the hard days ahead. Massey Energy has frequently been cited for safety violations at the mine. According to federal records, the U.S. Mine Safety and Health Administration, or MSHA, cited the mine for more than 1,300 safety violations from 2005 through Monday for a total of $1.89 million in proposed fines. Fifty of those citations came in March alone. Many of those 50 citations were for poor ventilation of dust and methane, failure to maintain proper escapeways, and the accumulation of combustible materials. The Charleston Gazette reports that last year, more than 10 percent of the enforcement actions taken by MSHA at the Upper Big Branch Mine were for unwarrantable failure to follow safety rules, compared to about 2 percent at mines nationwide. The CEO of Massey Energy, Don Blankenship, has denied any wrongdoing and said that any suspicion the mine was improperly operated was unfounded. He made the comments in an interview with Metro News Radio on Tuesday, where he responded to the large number of safety violations at the mine. Violations are, uh, you know, uh, unfortunately a normal part of the mining process here. You know, you have inspections every day and it's hard to differentiate sometimes between, you know, it's head, head count or number counts on violations and, uh, the, you know, the seriousness or type of it. But uh, certainly there are violations at every coal mine in America and uh, uh, UBB was uh, a mine that had violations. Uh, I think uh, the fact that Elmsha and the state and our fire bosses and the best engineers that you know you can find were all in and around this mine and all believed it to be safe uh, in the circumstances it was in speaks for itself as far as any uh, suspicion that the mine was improperly operated or, or uh, illegally operated or anything like that would be unfounded based on uh, all these uh, people who were involved in the day-to-day -day operation of the mine. Is there a, a natural paradox that exists when, on one hand, uh, there's an argument, you would argue that this is a safe mine. On the other hand, it, ev it obviously was not a safe mine. It couldn't have been a safe mine if we had an explosion of this magnitude. Would you agree with that? Yes. I mean, I, I think that uh, any time you have an explosion, uh, you obviously had a circumstance <coughs> that uh, is not supposed to exist. <coughs> um, you know, not knowing what yet what that uh, circumstance was, I don't know how avoidable it was or how it should have been detected. I don't know that we'll ever know. Uh, certainly, that'll be the uh, focus of the investigation. But you can't say that a man that exploded is uh, is safe. Uh, the the challenge is the human challenge of what is a human capable of uh, doing to make a man safe, and and uh, how good an execution can you get out of 
you know, the people that are involved in every mine and what type of uh, natural or unnatural occurrence uh, that was unforeseen, you know, happened. Massey Energy CEO Don Blankenship being interviewed by Hoppy Kirchival of uh, Metro News Radio in West Virginia Tuesday. Massey is the fourth largest coal company in the United States and the largest coal producer in central Appalachia. For more on the story, we're joined by two people, Jeff Biggers, a journalist covering mining in the Appalachian region. He's author of Reckoning at Eagle Creek, The Secret Legacy of Coal in the Heartland. Uh, he is joining us from Peoria, Illinois. His family goes back generations in the mines. And joining us on the phone from Raleigh County, West Virginia, is Chuck Nelson. He worked as an underground miner in West Virginia for 30 years, eight of them with Massey Energy. He's now a member of the Ohio Valley Environmental Coalition. He lives about 12 miles from the Upper Big Branch Mine. Welcome to Democracy Now! Um, Jeff Biggers, let's begin with you. Uh, respond to Don Blankenship, the CEO of Massey. To me, it's really a twisted logic, Amy, to say that violations are just a, a regular occurrence that we should accept. I think what Blankenship is recognizing is that the coal industry